Please excuse some of the terminology in this episode because when we originally filmed it, it was originally planned to be the first episode of the season, and it's not. If you haven't seen the first episode of the season, uh, it was pretty fun. Go check it out. But that's all. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Hey guys, welcome to season two of Upkeep. Starting now, we are going back to doing a new episode every other week, except for weeks with major holidays, to bring you lots of cool new themes and lots of cool new commander gameplay and cool decks. To start season two off, we tallied up what our most and least played colors were from the first 12 episodes of the show, and we are coming back with a vengeance and giving our least played color a little bit of extra love. My least played color in season one was black, so today I'm gonna to be playing my Crick Son of Yogmoth deck. This is a life swap deck. I'm gonna get my life total low on purpose and then switch it with other players to either knock them out of the game right away or make it easier to knock them out later. All of my test runs with this deck have been really fun, so I'm really excited to see how this goes. Hey guys, Jason back here for season two of Up. Today I'm gonna to be playing Micaeus the Lunark. Uh it's not built around him at all. It's just a bunch of good white cards that I don't get to play in a lot of decks because I don't play white very much. So Let's get started. Hey guys, Preston here. This week I'm going to be playing Mari the Killing Quill. It's an Assassin's, Rogues, and Mercenaries deck. It wants to give all my creatures death touch, kill all my opponent's creatures, and then hit them for damage for an alternate win con. Pretty fun, pretty aggro, and I make a lot of treasure. Should be a good time. Hey guys, it's Steven, and today I'm gonna to be playing Quain, Itinerant Meddler. The idea of the deck is I just wanna tap Quain as many times as I can. I got a lot of stuff in the deck that can untap Quain, so I can tap him multiple times during each player's turn. So, um, see what happens. If you'd like to support Geek & Seek, consider becoming a patron. All patrons also get to join our Discord, where you'll not only be able to hang out and talk magic, but also have yourself or your deck appear in our upcoming Magic Online and Spell Table series. Season Start off. the season off by drawing a card. Evolving Wilds, I'll tap sack it, go get a, an island, that will be it. Drop it. I will play a Phyrexian Swamp, and then for one, I will cast an Expedition Map, and I'll pass. Ooh, snap. We just drew a Plains. I think I'm just gonna pass the turn. I will draw. We'll do a Swamp one for a Universal Automaton. It's every creature type. Okay. And pass. You did something on turn one, guys. So did Morgan, and his is much scarier. It's ramp. I'm gonna play Sea of Clouds. It's it not hit the battlefield tap because I have two or more hand. opponents. Oh. I will pay two to play Quain. Yay! That will be the end of my turn. Oh, I thought he was three. Technically, Micaeus is one. He would just die immediately. Skill issue. I'm going to play a snow-covered swamp, and for two, I'm going to play Mindstone, and I'll pass the turn. Oh my god. Untap. Draw. I will play this plane, and then I will tap for two. I will play a Thought Vessel. I'll pass. Okay. I will put down another swamp, and then for two, I will cycle Desert of the Glorified. Draw a card and pass. Could have done that at instant card. speed. Yeah, but I'm not annoying is the difference. <laughs> I'm going to play a Plains. Hold on, I'm going to tap Quain first. Each player may draw a card. If you do, you gain a life. Well, yes. I don't want to gain life in this deck, but I do like drawing cards. Who doesn't? Isn't that the best part of the game? Okay, yes. then I'll go ahead and pay three to play Howling Golem. It's a two, three that says whenever it attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. And I pass the turn. Cool beans. Turn. For two, I'm gonna tap and sacrifice the expedition map to go find any land to put into my hand. What are you grabbing? I'm gonna grab Urberg's Tomb of Yergmath. And actually what I'm gonna do is not play that as my land for turn. I'm gonna play Myriad Landscape as my land for the turn. And I'm gonna pass. Upkeep draw. Oh, this is cool. I like, I like this guy. So I'm gonna play this um, Sulfurian Void. When it enters the battlefield, I scry one. I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom. But then I will tap for four. Keeper Decord. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, if that player controls more creatures than you, create a 1-1 white soldier creature token. At the beginning of each opponent's end step, if that player controls more lands than you, you may search your library for a basic plans card, put it onto the battlefield tap, and then shuffle your library. I'll pass. All right, we will do another swamp. I'm gonna do here a fan's chalice. Ooh. When the end of the battlefield, target opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Oh, pick me! He wants you to pick him. I know, so I'm not going to. Oh, That's a very important decision. Dude, if you if you if you if you hit Steven, <laughs> then all of us will have gained a life of his commander except for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dude, I, I knew I knew that would get him. Oh, I will play an island as my land for turn. Tap Quain. 
each play my draw card. Okay, in response, I'm going to pay a black and vampiric tutor. I'm going to lose two life and find any card in my deck to put on top of my library. And I'll go ahead and gain one and draw that card, so I'll just put it in my hand because of Queen. Yeah. Quick, someone do something to put it to the bottom. Dracard, gain a lurf. I will go to combat. I'm going to attack Morgan with Helen Golem. I will two take two. And then each player draws a card whenever he attacks. Cool. cool. Then I will go ahead and pay two to play my own Thought Vessel. Nice. Twinnies. I will pay two. So I'll do Lightning Greaves. Cool. And then I will pass the turn. At the beginning of your end step, you control more creatures than I do, so I will make a 1 1 soldier. And you also control more lands than I do, so I will search my library for basic planes and put it onto the battlefield tapped. That card is really good. I will pass. Yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. basic planes, battlefield <clears throat> tapped. For a black, I'm going to Dark Ritual to add three black mana to my mana pool. Oh, he's going to cast Crick, I think. So then I'll add one and I'll pay six life. Oh. And cast Crick, Son of Yogmoth. It's a 2 2 with lifelink. Whenever I cast a black spell, I put a 1 1 counter on them, and I may treat my black mana pips as though they were Phyrexian mana. Well, I'm going to slaughter pack of that. Oh, it says target non black creature. Oh, dang it, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone else has to do with it. I'm going to go ahead and play that Urberg, Tomb of Yergmath, and pay two life with my commander and another three. And I'm going to cast Dread Presence. It's a three, three. Whenever a swamp enters the battlefield under my control, I choose one. Draw a card and lose a life, or it deals two damage to any target and I gain two life. Because it's a black spell, I'll put a one, one counter on Crick, and I'll pass the turn. Play planes, my land for turn. You know what? I'm actually just going to pass the turn. And oh. at, at the end of my turn, I will discard this plane. All right, I will draw. Swamp. First, we will cast my commander, Mari the Killing Quill. And then two for Zula Port Cutthroat. I'll pass for now. Okay. I'll play a plane as my land for turn. I will tap Quain. Each player may draw a card. You do, you gain a life. Oh. Two, three, four to play Solemn Simulacrum. I will attach the Lightning Greaves to Solemn Simulacrum. Well, before you do that, you gotta search for the basic. Yes, I do. Give him maybe his Keeper of the Accord triggers. Appreciate you, bud. Just trying something new, guys. It's fun. If you wanna draw a card off a of Solemn, Don't I'll do block. it. Come on, give me another soldier. I like saying on good terms with Dave. Quinn and Crick, best friends for life. You hear that? Okay. What's that mean for us? First of all, I didn't agree I to anything yet. I'm gonna attack. Morgan with Solemn Simulacrum, and I'm going to attack Preston with Howling Golem. How big is it? It's a 2 3. I will block it with my 1 1 Death Toucher. Oh crap, I forget he has Death Touch. Well, when it attacks, we do each oh. get to draw a card. We have to draw. Yes. I'll but block. they will trade. Yeah. And I will block Solemn so it can die. I'll gain 3 life. And I'll draw another card. When my creature dies, uh, all of my opponents lose 1 life and I gain 1 life. I cannot stand your command. Such a fun deck. Is that it, Steven? Yeah, I'm just gonna attach Lightning Greaves to Queen and then pass the turn. Alright, at the beginning of your end step, because you control more lands than I do, I will get to search my library for a basic planes card and put it onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. I have nine cards in my hand, but it's cool because I have Thought Vessel. Oh, wait a minute. I get this planes back into my hand because I also because have Thought vessel. vessel. Yeah, you can, you can roast me in the comments for that one. That's okay. I deserve it. I'm gonna play Thespian Stage as my land for the turn. What'd you call uh, me? But because it is also a swamp because of Urberg, that will trigger the Dread Presence, right. and I will deal two damage to any target, I'll gain two life, killing Preston's commander. No! I'm all right with that. You all will lose a life, and I'll gain a life. Okay. For two, I'm going to tap and sacrifice the Myriad Landscape to find two basic swamps to put onto the battlefield tapped. That will trigger the Dread Presence twice. I will choose to uh, do the first ability twice, so I'll draw two cards, lose two life. I want to pay two life with my commander, and then for a black, I'm going to cast Dark Confidant, Bob, as we all know him. 2-1, at the beginning of my upkeep, reveal the top card of my library, and I lose life equal to his converted mana cost and put it in my hand. That will put a 1-1 counter on my commander. We're going to pay two, pay another two life with my commander to cast 
black Marka connections. Enchantment at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I choose one or more. Create a treasure token and lose a life. Draw a card and lose two life. Create a three, two colorless shapeshifter and lose three life. That's a black spell, so I'll put another one one counter on Crick. Crick's getting a little on hand. Preston's really far above starting, so I think I'm just gonna send both of my creatures at Preston. How so big I, are they? So I have a five five and a three three. I'm definitely taking a three. And I'll block with the Zillaport cutthroat. Okay, I'll gain five life with Crick. I will gain one, you'll all lose one. Go to my end step, I have to discard one card. I will discard the Witch's Cottage and I will pass. Okay, I'll play this planes. Six, I'm going to cast Descend Upon the Sinful, Exile All Creatures. Oh no, and you, were, you got a counterspell? Yeah. Oh no! I'm gonna counterspell that. Yay! Hmm, <laughs> it's really sad and unfortunate. I tried Preston. But it's okay, I'm gonna just destroy Steven real quick. I'm gonna tap for two and I'm gonna cast Curse Totem. Activated abilities of creatures can't be activated. Ain't that a- <laughs> should've, should've saved the counter spell. All right, go ahead, press. Actually, you know what? Swing at Steven for four. <laughs> I'm a black deck, I can't deal with artifacts. Uh, I can deal with it on my turn. I'll bet. Black for a <laughs> hired poisoner. It's a one one with death touch. Neat. Okay. Done for four. Gaunty Lord of Luxury. I will look at Morgan's deck. Oh no. <laughs> the top four. And I don't get to look at it right? Nope. Uh, so what do, you, what do you do with it? I get to pick one, exile it face down, put the rest on the bottom in a random order, and then I can look at and cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. I don't need it as much right now, but for future use that could be important. I will go to my end step and I will discard Vampire Cutthroat. Okay. I'll play Reliquary Tower as my land for turn. Now he has two gnome hands. Yes. I'll pay three to play Generous Gift on that artifact oh. right there. Let's see your drawing skills with elephants. I'll go ahead and tap Queen. Each player may draw a card. If you do, you gain a life. I'll, I'll take go. that. Sure. Elephant. What did I do? What did I do? What did I miss? What happened? Okay. I tapped Queen, so you can draw a card and gain a life. Two. Folio Francis. It is an Ooh. artifact that says players have no maximum hand size. Oh. Yeah! I can pay XX and tap it. Each player draws X cards. And then I can pay two and a blue to tap it. Each opponent puts a number of cards equal to the number of cards in their hand from the top of their library in their graveyard. I don't like that part. I think I'll actually just go ahead and I'll pay to Folio Francis. Each player draws one card. Okay. Neat. I think that's all I'm gonna do on my turn. Cool. At the beginning of my upkeep, Dark Confidant is going to trigger. I'm going to reveal the top card in my library. It's Necropotent, so that's gonna go to my hand. I'll lose three life. And then I'll draw for turn. And then Black Market Connections. I think I'm just gonna do the treasure token and draw card mode, so I'll lose three life. See if the no maximum hand size is kind of bussin'. You're welcome. I'm gonna play Nykthos trying to nix as my land for the turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use a dice on Nykthos to just keep track of my devotion, just to make my life a little easier. So I'm just gonna draw a card and lose a life. We're just gonna do a setup turn. So we're gonna go for two. I'm going to tap the Nykthos to add six black mana to my mana pool. I'm gonna use the dice to keep track of this because this is about to get bonkers. For three, I'm gonna cast Staff of Completion. Ooh, love that card. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna use two of this and two life from my commander to cast Read the Bones to scry two, then draw two, lose two life. That is a black spell, so I'll put a counter on my commander. Scry two. Nope and nope. And then I'll lose two. I'm gonna pay four life with my commander. So that's two black, three, four, five. I'm going to cast Dark Petition. That puts another counter on Crick. I got to find any card in my library to put into my hand. How many instances and sorceries you got in your graveyard? I have three, so that means I also get the spell mastery and I'll add three black mana to my mana pool. Where'd that Wait, go? Wait, where'd that card go? I know what I was gonna grab and I can't find it. Sorry, I was hungry. All right, so here's the card, goes to my hand. Uh, can we see it? No, so I have three black floating. Can you tell us what it is? <laughs> I mean, technically, I could, yes. but I don't have to. I'm gonna use two of that mana to cycle Polluted Mire. Did you just win the game? Like, no. what's happening? But it's funny. Shut this up! Is, this ultimately is just a setup turn. Three, four, five, six, pay two life, to cast Damnable Pact for four. That is a black spell, so I put a counter on my commander. Dark Confidant on Steven for two, and hey. I'm gonna send Crick for eight at Jason. Block with the elephant. Okay, and I'll gain eight. Morgan, that was rude, why'd you do that? 
And then I don't have to discard down thanks to Stave, and I'll pass. At the end of your turn, because you control more creatures than I do, I will make another soldier token. Oh my god. Play of planes for two. Bounty agent. 2-2 two, two of Vigilance, tap, sacrifice, bounty agent, destroy target, legendary, permanent, that's an artifact, creature, or enchantment. Yikes. Tap for three. Cast Ghostly Prison. Creatures can't attack you unless you, uh, their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking you. Tap for three. Cast Monologue Tax. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, you create a treasure token. Swing at Steven for f five. <sighs> uh, I guess I take it. Pass. Oh, okay. okay. Will you cast two spells so I can make a treasure token? We're all in this together, and we have to kill Stave. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna cast one thing this turn. I'm sorry. I, I want to help you. I just don't have that much mana to play with. It's all good. I'm just gonna go to my end step. I'm going to cast yeah. Necrologia. Uh, nice. Cast only during your end step, and it doesn't cost this. Pay any amount of life. Draw cards equal to the amount of life paid. So how much do Wait. I want to pay? 20. Even go if big you paid 13 life, you'd still have the second highest life total. I was thinking 30. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. He went oh. to he's doing 25. 25. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, we'll do 25. What if I get rid of Polio myself? Have that back. Wait a minute. One eternity later. Any one mana instance before your turn ends? I think I think I've made a mistake casting Polio Ring. <laughs> well, I mean, I have 15 cards in my hand, and I felt like that was pretty good, but now look at Preston. I had just slightly more than seven. I, I think I only have nine in my hand. I was trying to help everybody out, and I'm scared. <laughs> I'll wait. Alrighty. Are we really gonna let Jason sit over here with 41 life while everyone else is in the 20s? Well, listen, or I don't really know what to do there. about that right now. I'm gonna play a point. Where did all my life go? <laughs> Where do all these cards come from? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm gonna take. Before I play my land for turn, I'll pay two to play Loyal Warhound. Three one dog with vigilance when enters the battlefield. If an opponent controls more lands than you, which you do, search your library for a basic planes, put it on the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. I want you to give me the best cut ever. Alright, then I'll go ahead and play uh, a planes for my land this turn. I'll go ahead and tap Queenie. Each player may draw a card and gain a life. I'll pay two to play Howling Mine. At the beginning of each player's draw step, if Howling Mine is untapped, that player draws an additional card. So when you cast that, that's the second spell you cast this turn, so Monologue Tax will trigger and I will create a treasure token. I will pay four to play Scholarship Sponsor. It's a 3-3 three, three human. When it enters the battlefield, each player who controls fewer lands than the player who controls the most land searches their library for a number of basic land cards less than or equal to the difference. I love you so much. <laughs> so everyone's gonna get a land Remember except this. for you, Steven. You are correct. I have uh, nine lands. How <laughs> big is your dude? It's, it's an eight, 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 eight. Minus nine, minus nine until end of turn. For each swamp you control? Oh. Yep. Damn, that sucks. Yep, uh, that just has to happen. Yippee! Right. So, it's my turn now. It is. Upkeep, Dark Confidant. Reveal the top card of my library. It's a swamp. I, it goes to my hand. I don't lose any life. Then I'll draw for turn. I'll draw an extra card because of Howling Mine. Black Market Connections at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase. I'm going to create a treasure token and draw cards. So I'll lose a total of three life. I'm going to play Cabal Coffers as my land for the turn. Hmm. How about that? You don't okay. have that many swamps, right? Ten, technically. No! <laughs> I'm going to lose a life and draw a card off of the Dread Presence for... Two, I'm gonna tap Nykthos for three, two of which is gonna go to Jet Medallion. Black spells cost one less to cast. I'm gonna tap the Staff of Completion for two to, pay, to add a mana, pay two life, and then use this other black floating I have. So we're gonna tap the Cabal Coffers. I have 10 black floating. Seven of which, no, six of which, because of the Jet Medallion, is gonna go to Decree of Pain, destroy all creatures. Uh -oh. They can't be regenerated. When I you draw cast a card for each creature destroyed this way. On cast, that is your second spell you've cast this turn, so I will create another treasure token. Okay. With that still on the stack. <clears throat> oh, come on, man. I am going to tap for three by sacrificing these two treasure tokens. I'm gonna cast Make a Stand. Creatures you control get plus one, plus oh, and gain indestructible until end of turn. Morgan, what have you done? <laughs> How many creatures died? I had two. Two. Three. A zero. Morgan, what have you done? You just killed yourself. Okay, what are, what's your biggest creature? It's a three, four, but they have indestructible. What? Is it worth getting rid of 
Jason's board right now. If you want to waste another spell trying to get rid of my board, dude, go for it. All I'm right. all here. I think, I'm I, think, I, think I need to. So one yeah. less to cast, two mana. I'm going to Toxic Deluge, paying four life. Creatures get minus four, minus four till end of turn. Right. Totally fine with you wasting a Toxic Deluge on that. I'm going to use one of my floating to cast Soul Ring. I'm going to oh, tap the Soul Ring to turn Thespian Stage into a Cabal Coffers. I don't like that. I think we need to get him out of this game as soon as possible. I'm going to cast Crypt Gas 2-2 two, two, uh, with Extort. <laughs> Whenever I tap a Swamp, I add an additional black mana. Oh. <laughs> now, real quick, I'm sure that most of you already know this, but some of you might be out there saying, Morgan, how can you play this in a mono black deck? It has a white pip in it. That is just reminder text. That does not count towards color identity. For two, I'm gonna cast an Arcane Signet. Um, like he needs more mana. Why do you even have Arcane Signet in a mono color deck? It's, it's a ran. two mana mana rock that taps for my color. I'm gonna tap three swamps for six mana. Reminder, my black spells cost one less to cast. I'm gonna cast Triska Decaphobia and Tree of Perdition. Oh, not the tree. <laughs> so if those, if one of those stays in play back to my turn, uh, I can take someone out of the game. I'm trying to better organize my hand. It's a little stacked. Having seven cards in hand is much more manageable. It's not as fun. It's a lot easier to look at. Faux show. Sure. So I am gonna actually pay the extort cost for both of those. So, so we each lose one and you gain, well, we each lose two and you gain six. for a black, one less to cast, Night Whisper to draw two cards, lose two life. And that's going to be it for uh, me. Before you pass, I'm going to exile a card from my hand to free play Force of Despair, destroy all creatures that entered the battlefield this turn. Let's Damn, go, let's go Preston. Keep and a draw. I will play this planes as my land for two. Good old fashioned fair magic. I'm gonna tap for five. And I'm gonna cast yeah. God Eternal of Ketra. Nice. Which one is that one delete? Uh, Whenever it's a three six or double strike, whatever you vigilance. cast a creature spell, make a four four black zombie creature token with vigilance. Yeah, I'm just gonna play God Eternal of Ketra and pass. Cool. I'm gonna cast a Rankle, Master of Prankles. 3-3 three, three, Flying Haste. Whenever it deals combat damage to player, choose any number. Each player discards a card. Each player loses one life and draws a card. Each player sacks a creature. God Eternal Catcher is scary. Uh, how about lose a life and draw a card? How about discard a card? Swamp. <laughs> Morgan, your hand is ridiculous. I will definitely pay two for Thematic Compass. When you cast that, that's your second spell this turn, so I will create a treasure token. I'd be willing to let you guys correct this mistake if you haven't. With without using the take back counter, but have you guys drawn the extra card with Howling Mine? I have not. No. You should be better about reminding people. One. I said it when I cast it. <laughs> Two, three. Yeah, but it's your card. For Commander Sphere. I'm, I'm just going to pay say? three <laughs> for King's Assassin. It's the 1-1 one, one Assassin. Uh, on your turn before I attack, I can tap this dude to destroy any one tapped creature. It's a cool card. I like it. I'm just going to hit Morgan for three. Ow! Each player loses a life and draws a card. That and each player discards a card. Oh, that's fine with me. I discard the planes. I'll draw. Go to my end step. Thematic compass will transform. And yeah, it's Steven's turn. Untap draw. Yes. Oh, thank you. I will play Port Town as my land for turn. Uh, I will reveal an island. So they show the camera. Island. They don't believe you. I don't know. Was that an island? I think I need to look at your entire hand just to make sure. Three, four. Bring in Queenie back. Okay. I will attach Lightning Grease to him. I will tap him. Each player may draw a card. Each player does draw a life. Or, what am I saying? I need to go to bed. <laughs> I don't like you letting Morgan gain life. Did you want to draw a card from Queen? Sure, why not? Why is Jason that 40 life? Because y'all suck at the game. Two, to play uh, Words of Wisdom. I draw two cards, then each player draws a card. Cool. Oh, guys, this is, this is why I... This is... <laughs> This, this is, is why I'm here. This is what we play magic for. Honestly, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in my hand in this mono white deck. It's thanks to Steven, but like this is not a situation I thought I would be in. I have a couple cards in hand. One, two, three. Ireth of the Healing House. It's a one, four human cleric. I can tap him to untap another target permanent. So I'll go ahead and equip him. Tap him to untap Quain. Then I'll... <laughs> Reattach this to Queen. This feels like cheating. Tab it. 
<gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you not want to? I'm not going to. If I do, I'll die to my own Triskaidekaphobia. All right, Oops. someone gain Morgan one life real quick. It'd be really funny. I think that's gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. At the beginning of my upkeep, no one has 13 life, so no one dies. I'm gonna choose everyone loses a life. Hey. What have I ever done? Guys, Jason said starting life total. I, I really feel like Morgan's just gonna win the game this turn. I can't this turn, but I, I, <laughs> I can do something. Black market connections, I'm going to create a treasure token and draw a card so I will lose three life. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Steven, how many spells did you cast on your turn two? More than two spells. Another treasure token. I'm going to play a war room as my land for the turn. It taps for colorless, or I can pay three and tap it to pay life equal to the colors of my commander's color identity to draw a card. Actually, Command Z, I'm not gonna play my land yet. I am, that is the land I'm going to play. Hold up, wait a minute. Put a little stave in it. Gross. Five, one less to cast. I'm gonna cast Infernal Sovereign. It's a six, six with flying and trample. I skip my draw step. I forgot to draw a card off of your alley mine. Whenever I play land or cast a spell, I draw a life and lose a uh, draw a card. And, <laughs> I did the I, same thing. I, I, <laughs> what I draw doing? a card and lose a life. I draw a life and what lose a card. So then when I, even that late. So then when I play that war room, I will lose a life and draw a card. I kind of want to take myself out by drawing my entire deck. Cause I'm going to tap the staff of completion for a black man. I pay two life. <laughs> Killed yourself. To tap the thespian stage. That's a copy of the cabal coffers to add 11 black mana to my mana pool. <sighs> Just use two of it and tap the other one. Fine. Make Maybe it, I will. Make it easy. There you go. So now I have 21 black floating. <clears throat> I'm going to pay four cost one less to cast because of the jet medallion. I'm going to wretched confluence. I'm going to choose each mode once, uh, I'm, first of all, I get to draw a uh, card. That is your second spell you cast this turn, so I will create a treasure token. Correct. Infernal uh, Sovereign is going to let me draw a card and lose a life. You're playing a dangerous game. <laughs> <laughs> the power. So Wretched Confluence is going to let me do that. Ow. And then I'm going to target creature gets minus two, minus two. I'm gonna hit this guy. No! And then I return a creature card from my graveyard to my hand. And I'm going to grab the Crypt Ghast. Okay, I'm taking a guess and saying you're gonna cast it right now. Uh, yeah. I lose a life, draw a card. <laughs> Okay, I think I have to play this now, otherwise I die. I'm going to use six of this mana. It's gonna cast Soul Conduit. I can pay six and tap it to exchange two player's life totals. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to draw a card to lose a life off the Infernal Sovereign. I think, I think, uh, I think Jason's gonna die. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pay six to tap the Soul Conduit to have Jason and I exchange life totals. In response to you targeting me, I'm gonna tap for five. I'm gonna flash in Gand off the white. The main ability that matters right now is you may cast legendary spells and artifact spells as though they have flesh. I'm gonna sacrifice these three treasures. Oh, Tap man. this for a four, and I'm gonna flash in the one ring. When the one ring enters the battlefield, if you cast it, you gain protection from everything until your next turn. Magnifique! Oh, fell so good! Damn. Come on, mono black deck, counter it! So that fizzles. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, buddy! You get to make a zombie. Oh my god! I even drew the zombie already. Hang on, I'm doing intense math right now. Three, four, five, six. Cost one less to cast. I'm gonna cast Repay and Kind. Each player's life total becomes the lowest player's life total. Oh. Um, I'm going to stack my cast trigger so I have the extort first. I will go ahead and pay that. So each player will lose a life and I'll gain that much life. And then I will draw a card and lose a life off of the Infernal Sovereign. So then each of your lives totals becomes three. Morgan, why would you do this? Cause it's fun. Now we're all gonna die. I'm scared. <laughs> Steven, do your commander. <laughs> Let's all gain life and draw a card. And then I'm going to tap out Seven? to cast Platinum Angel 4-4 four, four Flyer. I can't lose the game and my opponents can't win the game. Mm. And I can't pay the extort, I will lose a life and draw a card off of the Infernal Sovereign, and then I'm just going to pray and pass. At the end of your turn, <laughs> I'm gonna tap the One Ring to put a burden counter on it and uh, draw a card. You are gonna lose one life. I know, at the gonna... beginning of my upkeep. Yeah, I'm not And upkeep. then you'll also uh, draw an additional card with Hallow Mine. Draw two. Play this planes. Uh, if you leave Platinum Angel, I kill you last. <laughs> <laughs> Can you protect for, me? <laughs> tap for one, Source of Blasher. Oh. oh. So, at least you'll gain life a little power. You know what's sad? 
I had uh, swift foot boots in my hand. You idiot! I didn't have the mana for it. Play of Lightning Greaves. I'm going to equip Gandalf the White. Actually, I definitely could have made the mana for it because I forgot I had Nekthos. Let's do it now. Damn. Four, two, cast Selfless Spirit. Two and one with flying. I can sacrifice Selfless Spirit, creature sector token, indestructible until end of turn. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I hope you guys have been enjoying this game of upkeep, one of our more exciting games of late. However, the next about 55 seconds of gameplay you are about to witness is maybe the cringiest and most painful 55 seconds that we've ever created on this show. And so viewer discretion is of course advised, but let's see how many game ending misplays that you can count over the next 55 seconds. I'll be back in a moment and uh, point them all out to you in case you miss them. Enjoy. Swing at Preston. What did I do? Swing at Morgan. Swing at Steven. Tap for four. Akroma's will. Well, hang on. Before I do that, tap for two. Cast Micaeus for one. So he's gonna come up with a one plus one plus one counter. And then cast the Chrome as well, so I can choose both. Creatures you control gain flying, vigilance, and double strike until end of turn. Creatures you control gain lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors until end of turn. Oh, damn. I think you win then. Yep. Um, I'm going to use my colorless land to untap this creature coming at me. In response, I'm gonna pay two to tap Folio Francis, and each player draws one card. <laughs> and gains a life. All right. So you just kill me. Okay, cool. The person who helped everybody else out the most uh, gets no, killed. No, Steven. <laughs> Steven. No, 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 it's fine. No, it's okay. <laughs> no, stop. No, it's stop. Okay. Stop. No, it's okay. I it's thought okay. I was going to kill everyone. The double strike hits, I gained six. The Gandalf hits, I gained four. So that's ten. Oh, well, wasn't that fun? Well, for starters, uh, the token that Oketra made that Jason was attacking with had Vigilance, so it wouldn't have tapped while it attacked. This, of course, is not actually game ending because Preston was still going to be able to remove it from combat with his land, so that one's not so big of a deal. What is so big of a deal is Jason using a take back to cast his commander after he had already declared attacks and entered his combat phase. Now, while we do allow a couple take backs per game, we tend to not allow take backs that drastically alter the end of a game. And I believe that this probably did, so we should have probably caught it and told him, no, too late, because that did ultimately let him get both modes of Akroma's will, which is probably what ends up putting the game in his favor here. And then maybe most egregiously, Steven keeps calling Folio of Fancies the Folio of Francis, and that pisses me off to no avail. And I don't know how none of us caught him doing that during the filming of the game, but also Jason actually probably could have won the game right here because we misunderstood what was drawing us the card. It was the Folia Fancies drawing us the card when we had been used to Steven's commander drawing us the card, which also would have gained us a life. And of course, that means we shouldn't have gained that life right there, uh, which means that Jason probably should have just won right out here. But either way, let's get back into this game. I'm so mad I forgot I had Nick though. I could have kept my Platinum Angel alive with- I'm uh... so mad that you <laughs> didn't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed myself. Pass. So if I swing at you, will you not block my wrinkle? Yeah. Well, I definitely haven't played a land yet. If you kill Morgan, I will not do anything to you on my next turn. I will just literally There's... do a setup. And if you want to blow up my whole board and win, that's fine. I'm not... I will swing at Jason for three. I will not block. Come right. on. Each player will definitely discard a card. I'm going to discard this planes. I'll discard a swamp. I will discard Witch's Cottage. I think we go for it. Everyone loses a life and draws a card. Morgan. Uh, I will let you draw 12 cards and lose, lose 12 life. Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, in response, we're gonna tap the thing and we're gonna draw a card. I am going to exile late to dinner from my hand in order to evoke in solitude. What's that do? When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target creature. That creature's controller gains life equal to its power. I will choose the token because I have All right, to. In response, I'm going to slaughter pack the token. <gasps> it's a black zombie. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time he did this. So this gets exiled and I will gain four life. And then I will lose Wait, 13 know? life and draw 13 cards. Oh, okay. Or, or no, draw 12 cards and lose the lose 12 life. That's fine. Yeah. All right. I'll win on your upkeep. That's fine. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> I will move to my untap step. The so one ring will trigger. With that trigger still on the stack, I'm gonna tap for one and cast Blossoming Calm. You gain hexproof until your next turn, you gain two life. So I will gain two life, and then I will lose two life. And this has rebound, so I can cast it from exile. I'm gonna tap for four, play Gideon's Intervention, choosing Rankle, Master of the Pranks, your opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to you and permanent you control by sources with the chosen name. Just full send. I'm gonna sack Commander Spear to draw a card. I'm gonna slaughter pack God Eternal Ketra. Uh, then I get second place. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Speak for um, yourself. Um, <laughs> um, you win! I'm gonna tap for three. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm And four. I'm gonna flash in Mithril Coat. And when it enters, I attach it to a target legendary creature I control, which will be God of Turtle or Ketra, and equip creature as indestructible. If only I had more mana. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Wow. Run away! That Let's was a, go! That, that was a pretty close game. Um, I kind of feel robbed of, but it was mostly my own fault, so it is what it is. Tune in next week to hear more about these decks, more about this game, unless you are joining us on Patreon, in which case you can go watch that episode right now by hopping in our Discord. Make sure you subscribe to see lots of other awesome games coming in the near future, and we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.